Dump Crater Communication and Supply Unit. The Rosemont Dump Crater System consists of Supply and Communication Unit, which is located in the CCR. It has also the touchable display. If you push the system information button, you can get the system number, the installation date, and the system type. To go to the main menu, you push the exit button. <coughs> In the main menu, you have uh, different functions like diagnostics, tank scan, restart, and uh, other parameters of the system. The most important for us is this tank data menu. To enter the tank data menu, we have to push the tank data button. And now you have the overview of the all connected tanks. To go down, you can see the information like the allage in the tank, vapor pressure, and the average temperature. In the slope you have minus 300 and error because the tank is empty. If you want to see the information about the current tank, you have to push the button of the tank and you will get to another screen. You have the tank data, cargo tank 5 starboard, here you have the allage and the inage, the level rate during loading or discharging, the signal strength of the antenna, tank radar antenna, the pressure vapor inside the tank, the liquid temperature, and the temperature inside the tank gauging electronic unit, and the temperature is measured in two levels. So, one and level two. To return to the main menu, you have to push the button exit and the button service. On the service menu, you have the trim list mode. If you push this button, you will get the reading that it's possible to change the trim and list if the workstation is not connected. That means that the tank creators, they are not corrected for the trim and list during the operation. The, some information on the display, like tank scan, is the password protected and is available to technicians only, like TG replacement, password protected. In the diagnostics you can make the status overview and you can check the, the status of all the units. On the TG you have error 6 that is because of some tanks are empty and you have uh, temperature error. To perform the display calibration, you have to push the button corresponding to display calibration. Then uh, you will agree that you want to make the calibration by pushing the button yes. And then you will need to touch the blinking symbol on the screen until it stops blinking. And then the information is written on the ROM memory and then the display is calibrated. Now it corresponds to all the values, all the buttons which you push. Inside the supply and communication unit we have 
different electronics. One of the electronics is the computer unit which sends the signal already to the display. Inside the computer unit you have the CD drive to install the updates and the cables to be connected to the display unit. Inside the supply and communication unit on the top you have the power supply. You move down in the middle you have the electronics with the cables receiving the signal from the tank radar on deck and the signal is transferred to computer unit. If you move down you have the fuses and the accumulator battery. During the normal operation of the ship, you should not be completely reliant on the tank radars. That's why we need to make the tests of the tank radars, which means comparing to the manual gauging of the tanks. This should be done according to the PMS system in the task system.